And then swing it over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can just take a look through. Uh, through. That was not what I meant. I just wanted to kind of push things around a little bit. No, no, you. It's my first day. Okay, no, that's a lot of explosions for a first day. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Human Simulator, a game where you play as a completely normal human with an average, everyday job. I promise. I'm gonna make the bold assumption that most of you watching this video are human, which should mean this will be interesting, you're almost educational, because not many of us know that we all undergo this process. It happens when we're asleep, so we're obviously not aware, but that doesn't make it any less important. Did you catch all that? I'll summarize, don't worry. But it says right there, HUMAN PROTOCOL. If HUMAN is in all caps, it can't be a lie. It's the process of opening our eyes. Okay, some of us need a little help, a little alarm, some caffeine, but we all retract our vision sphincters one eye at a time. It's what makes us all the same before pulling back the flaps. Some of us call them eyelids, it's an oversimplification. But you've got two round images because you have two round eyes, but your human brain combines it to make one image. And there you have it, the process of waking up. It's a beautiful thing. Almost as beautiful as our family. Listen, nothing is more romantic to a human man than running his fingers through a human woman's chest hair. Oh my god, I look like somebody bought a Chinese knockoff action figure of Hitman at the dollar store. <laughs> but my name is Hugh Man, and I'm apparently only five years old. With a Bachelor of Social Studies? Wow, that's impressive. It looks like I'm not the only one who thinks so, because we have a job interview. The essential first step for all potential future employees of Handy Jobs Inc., the leading provider of quality handy persons and industry leader in the illustrious field of handy technologies for over 50 years. Handy Jobs Inc. is proud to have been serving the community with only the most highly trained and competent handymen and women, and are always looking for the best and brightest upcoming new talent to join their distinguished ranks. If you're looking for an opportunity to find placement in a diverse and varied working environment where you get to learn what life is like in the shoes of your fellow man from all walks of life, then we want to hear from you. Apply today. That is a mouthful and a half, and I felt confident going into it, but now I'm kind of nervous. How exactly do I practice? Of course we would set up a fake job interview in our basement, right? That's totally normal. I gotta ask though, what's with the sign of a hand holding a dong on the top of that building? If that's what they mean by handyman, I'm out. I'm also a little concerned with his neck. He's got the hitman scowl down, Pat. He could definitely stare into your soul, but he seems to be suffering from a condition known as jelly bones. His neck is made of pudding. I don't really want to continue with this job interview. I'm not gonna lie. Is it okay if I just stare off into the distance? Oh, I'm sorry, is this suspicious activity to you? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Everything is fine. This is totally normal human activity. Isn't that right, sir? I'm gonna consider that practice a complete success. We're ready for the real thing. Probably could have used a neck brace or two. It's fine, okay? He can't discriminate against pre-existing conditions like jelly bones. We just need to be confident. Ah, you must be Mr. Man, yes? Please, and my father is Mr. Man. You can call me you. My friends call me Macho. That was a, a joke. Macho, man, you, you can laugh. Or continue with the interview. Is he testing me with an awkward silence? Because it's killing me inside. His phone will not stop ringing. Like, it's really trying its best to break the awkward silence, but it's not working. He's just been staring at me for almost a minute now. <laughs> Please, just say anything. Like, I, I can't say anything. I, I didn't initiate mouth protocol this morning. Just eyes and neck, technically. Oh, right. 
We cannot. Yes, yes, ah. I am Mr. Man. Okay, you know what? I apologize. That, that, that's my bad, sir. It was a uh, brain freeze. I had a popsicle in the elevator. Wonderful. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You seem like one of the most promising candidates. Don't make eye contact with the audience, dipshit. Look at him. What are you doing? Just there you go. <laughs> Didn't have any trouble finding the interview room, I hope. No, no. Just a little sidetracked. Mm. Popsicle stains in the elevator. It's off-putting. <laughs> good, good. Right. Well, let's get into some questions then. I'm very keen to see how you'll fit into our company. So, let's begin. Why don't you start by telling me some of your strengths, Mr. Man? That isn't a yes or no question. Mm. Oh, not one to toot your own horn, I see. Humble, that's exactly what we're looking for here at Handy Jobs, Inc. Which reminds me, am I supposed to be tooting other guys' horns? Because again, if that's the case, I'm out. Are you sure you don't want to answer that, sir? Somebody keeps calling you over and over again, and it's making me think that it's a bit of an emergency. I really don't want to leave this interview and find out that your kids are dead or something like that. Tell me, how did you hear about this position? Again, it's not really a yes or no question. I mean, we can try to give them a yes. Oh, oh, phone. Mm. I heard over phone. Oh, that's right. A call from Mr. Smith upstairs. Direct recommendation. Very impressive. Mr. Man, where do you see yourself five years from now? Ten years. Uh, really happy that there isn't a photo of your wife on this desk right now. <laughs> Maybe I see myself somewhere to the right. How about, how about that photo? Ah. That one doesn't have your wife in it. Ha! Huh, early retirement, huh? Honest answer, though. I like that. Things are going pretty well. What is your least favorite aspect of this industry? To be perfectly honest, your phone, for one... The dicks for another. I'm also not a big fan of the lack of communication here, but you know, what can you really do? Um, maybe the Russians next door? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Russians. Oh, 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 no, 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 the Russians are hacking me. The Russians, the Russians are, I mean, the Russians are influencing me. They're, they're influencing me as a human. Don't worry, sir. Everything is under control. Just going to turn my head over this way. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm, I can I can so see them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like those pesky neighborhood rushes. Ah, the competition. You're absolutely right, Mr. Man. It's hard finding people to offer handy jobs to these days. There's no way that's a coincidence. They have to be doing that on purpose. <laughs> Handy jobs, my god. You'd think it'd be easy, but someone's always trying to outdo you. If you found out your company was doing something against the law, like fraud, or prostitution in this case, I think, what would you do? Mm. Uh, nothing! D nothing, nothing? Oh, that could be a very wise decision. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no snitch, I, I swear. I'm very tight-lipped. How about this, then? If you were in my position, which of these candidates would you select to work at our company? Oh. Um, I don't think either of those are me. I'm going to pick the one that looks most like me. How about that? Hmm. Yeah, there you go. I could grow out my hair a little bit to look like him. Or less like you, technically. That's really creepy. Oh my god, your phone, it's just like nails on a chalkboard in my mind. Interesting, okay, moving on. Are you able to keep a level head under pressure? I mean, is that like a turn of phrase, or do you actually want me to make my head level? You see, I can do that, that's pretty level. <laughs> Are you impressed? Uh, yes, yes, level, very level. Soup, you, you could just balance a ball on that, I swear. Wouldn't even roll off. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. There we go. Jesus Christ, are we speaking the same language? Good, that's important here. Almost halfway, Mr. Man. Ready to continue? I mean, he looks as ready as he's gonna be. <laughs> Why does he keep staring directly at us? Ah. I am ready to continue. I feel like this job is in the bag. All right, next question. What kind of car do you drive? 
Uh, I drive a, a dated hmm. car. Ah, oh, a man after my own heart. Beauty, isn't she? Oh, there's a car on the calendar. <laughs> I just look at whatever glows, and I guess that works. Oh, that freaking phone. Yeah, I, I, maybe I could say it's a classic car or, or dated car. You never really know. Uh, if you knew one of your close work colleagues was stealing small amounts of office supplies, would you report them? No, no, probably not. I would do the same. Good to know we're on the same page. Who cares if a USB stick and a pencil and a stapler and a Xerox machine and a couple of desks go missing? It's not that big a deal. <laughs> Who are our main rivals here at Handy Jobs Inc? Ooh. I wonder if I could say these guys? No, no. I was thinking maybe the employees of the month. They're my main rivals, but he probably wants me to look back over at the, the Russians. No, no, no. The Russians got me again. <laughs> every, every time. <laughs> No! <laughs> okay, no, no, just pull it together, you, y you, as in you, not you, as in Y-O-U, mm. there we go, perfect, okay, correct, those damn bastards over at Jack of All Trades, oh my god, really, they've been dragging down our profits for months, tell me, Mr. Man, who is this company's CEO, is it you? Is it not you? Um, not, not you, Y-O-U, not you, as in my name. Oh my God, that's just gonna get confusing. Is it one of these idiots? No, is it the person? Oh, it's you, it is you. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's right, Mr. Man, it's me. Now tell me, would you fondle the balls of a CEO? <laughs> what do you ultimately want to become here at Handy Jobs, Inc? Um, I want to be the next employee of the month. You got every other color of tie except mm. for mine. Our top employee, ambitious, I like that. It's been a while since I've interviewed someone like that. Let me tell you. Can you tell me one of your personal pet peeves, Mr. Man? Can I stare at your phone? It's not gonna glow, but it, it's not doing anything. <laughs> I can stare at my phone, maybe that'll get the message across. Mm. Your phone, or rather, not being able to escape technology, I assume. I know exactly how you feel. These days, it often seems like some of us are more robot than human. I swear I don't know what you're talking about, sir. That's very deep of you, you. Are you prepared to work a 70 plus hour week? N no, no, I'm, hmm. I'm not. Really? That's good to know. Most people say the opposite. You out of your mind? I'm a, I'm a human, not a robot. Are you good at performing difficult tasks for extended periods of time? Yeah, I, I could do that, sure. Mm. That's gonna give me the job. Hmm, if you say so, you. And lastly, are you good at spotting someone who isn't quite what they seem, Mr. Man? Like a person who is trying to hide something from you. I'm starting to think that you're trying to hide a mistress from me. She is really hot to trot today, sir. Yeah, yeah, I, I can spot weird folks from a mile away. I can scan them with my human eyes. Uh, please, please, yes, yes, there it is. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give them a, an extra hearty nod. Interesting. I see a lot of myself in you, you know, you. All right, well, I, I think that just about does it. Just one last question then. Is there anything more you'd like to tell me before we finish? Or we finish? before you finish. You still haven't quite explained what I'm doing here, and if it involves balls, I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> uh, can I, can I tell you? No, I can't tell you what's on that sign. Can I tell you anything? It doesn't look like it. Um, he seems to have taken whatever this is as a certain answer. I'm not sure what. <laughs> well, aren't you keen? Sadly, we're out of time, but no need to fret. You've already given me everything I need to make my final decision. You, it is my delight to inform you that I think you fit in perfectly around here. The job is yours. Welcome to Handy Jobs. <laughs> I just spent 13 minutes of my life booting up Smile Protocol 2.0. <laughs> yes, we got a job. I would have never assumed from that job interview that we were going to be a crane operator. <laughs> Handy Jobs has received a request for a temporary crane operator to operate the big tugger. Okay, they are definitely doing that on purpose now.
<laughs> I thought that was my clever joke. Down at Not Shore Port. An excellent opportunity for budding handy persons looking for their first big gig. Operators can expect to load and unload crates from local trucks and docked ships, assist in the management of dock hand traffic, and perform other pop-up tasks as required by the dock supervisor. Potential operators, please note, operators are not permitted to play crate Jenga. With the shipping containers, the Port Authority still has us on notice from the last time after Robert had to have his arms super amputated. Okay, one, how is an arm super amputated? Two, you're not my mom, I play whatever kind of Jenga I want. And three, I really hope that this crane is chin operated. Otherwise, I do not understand how any of this is gonna work. Just signing my name is hard enough. This might seem a little intimidating, but we need to keep the same mentality as the job interview. We're just gonna keep a cool head on our pudding shoulders. Sweet Jesus, we are underprepared and underqualified for this. You, can you hear me there, mate? Uh, yes, you hears you. Good, seems like that's working. Just to confirm I'm coming through loud and clear, look at the cabin camera for me, would you? Is that recording? And if it is, is it submissible in court? <laughs> Great, seems like that's all working too. I'll be watching you from that camera, so if you have any issues, let me know. You didn't answer my question though. Wait, if you know what you're doing, why are you down there and I'm up here? Okay, so let me just refresh you on the controls real quick. Look at that stick to your right, will you? This would be my right, there we go. That's the main control stick. That sends the trolley back and forth along the jib. And she also allows you to rotate the crane. What's a trolley? What's a jib? I don't know anything. The job interview just talked about Russians and phone calls. And now the one on your left. This one? That one controls the trolley's motor and lets you raise and lower the magnet. This thing apparently has a magnet, it's new as me. Uh, you'll need both of these to control the crane as a whole. Alrighty, lastly, there's your monitor. I'm gonna turn it on, look and see if it's working, will you? It runs on Windows XP. Isn't that just great, stupid machine? You has never been a big fan of working with broken machines. He's really more of a people person. Cool, I can send info through to that monitor, so keep an eye on it from time to time. Oh, and if you find you are ever having any trouble with the controls, you can have a look at the instruction clipboard above your walkie-talkie and it will remind you how everything works. Oh great, they gave me a single sheet printout on my first day and a pep talk. So why don't you go ahead and get a feel for how she handles. Grab the right stick and see if you can get her moving. I don't think my neck is gonna stretch that far. Oh. Oh! Okay. Yeah, look at that. Good, next try to raise and lower the magnet with the left stick. All right, so we'll do a little something like wicky, wicky, wicky. Gonna grab you and, <laughs> look at us go. All right. Now we're in business. Okay, first things first, there is an important crate down in the offloading area. And you see the red crate with a large white cross, you. Uh, there are a lot of crates and a lot of colors. I'm not seeing a red one with a white cross. Do you need me to dig for it? I can probably figure out how to dig for it. Give me a second. My depth perception sensors are just a little bit off. Can't imagine why, but I think we need to go all the way back here and then just lower her down like that and then swing it over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can just take a look through. Uh, through. That was not what I meant. I just wanted to kind of push things around a little bit. No, no, you. It's my birthday. Okay, no, that's a lot of explosions for a first day. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. We just, we gotta, we gotta, yeah. I think he might have broke his neck. Um, yeah, I'm trying, you, I'm trying. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. 
You were too suspicious and have been found out. Turns out they realized that I truly am incompetent and set me out to sea as punishment? I know some of you might think that's a little bit excessive, but you can only accept so many waterlogged iPhones and dented Toyotas before you have to make an example out of somebody. <laughs> or you're gonna get more Roberts on the job. Like, I just wanted to move stuff around delicately. I need to find a red crate with a white cross, but they're clearly... Oh my god, it's across the street. <laughs> I wasn't looking over there. I thought you meant on the ship. This is a loading dock. Like a, a water dock for boats. Okay, I see it. I see it now. We're just going to go over. I do see. Do I need to look at it? I'm going to try to look at it. Hold on. First, we're going to get this sorted out. And then um, I'm going to, to, to look. I mean, yes, yes, I do, I do see it, I do, is this what you want? Oh, that's what you want. <laughs> Healthy communication in the workplace. That's the one we'll need first. Be careful with it. We can't afford to lose it. Can't afford to lose anything, apparently. Go ahead and pick it up using the magnet. Okay. Um, just going to do that real quick. Sure, that's easy enough. Bring this over here, like that oh we got a shadow to work with and then lo lower uh um i'm i can't go any lower am i missing something I'm, I'm clearly missing something here why is there a target what what's what's the target do press press oh oh i see i see okay i need to right click there we go. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking at what I'm doing. Otherwise, I might get sent out to sea, okay? Good work. Easy does it. Now pop that over to the side. We'll be needing that a bit later. Carefully put that one into zone A for safekeeping. Thank you for setting zone A on fire. I appreciate it. Just gonna raise this up so that it doesn't hit anything because I've learned my lesson. And then over we go. Easy does it. Again, got a shadow to work with. Um, how delicate are these things? Can I just... Okay, good. Hold everything, you. Uh, I've just been told that a, a bloody safety inspector is on the premises. Oh, no. <laughs> Why today of all days? The dock hands are all back from their lunch break and he's probably trying to blend in with them. Okay, I see them. Before we do anything further with the crane, I'm sending you the security footage from the cameras. Cycle through and see if anyone looks like a dirty rat, would you? Are you kidding me right now? What do you mean by dirty rat? Am I supposed to kill this person? They all look the same. Oh, oh, it's this guy. It must be this guy for reasons. Look, look at him. I point at his dick. <laughs> there, I don't recognize him at all. That must be our guy. They all look like me. Look, I'll level with you here. We are in serious breach of a bunch of safety regs. Yeah, you're telling me. And we can't take another hit from these guys. I know you're new here and it's only your first day, but take him out. <laughs> I, I said in the interview that if I was going to do things that are illegal, I wouldn't mention it. So I guess we're just going to have to murder a guy, even though uh, we got a problem. They all look alike. They're all wearing the same thing. How exactly am I supposed to take him out? This doesn't make any sense. How about this? I'll pick up a crate and I'll make it look like I'm smushing people by accident. Was that not him? I don't think that was him. Oh, I don't think that was him. Okay, well, I guess it's just gonna be carnage down here on the docks today, folks. <laughs> Can I get a hint for where he is? Oh no, I've guessed wrong 100% of the time. I don't see any survivors. Is there anybody back here? Hello? Oh, 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 there's just one back there. I see you. Hold on. I'll get him. You will get him. Just gotta t touch this explosive thing ever so slightly. Got him. Got him. He was the last one. 
<laughs> we're gonna hire some new dock hands. Yes, great work, kid. Great work. That'll show them all. And girl, I'll have a little cleanup crew put together. So what say we just keep this between you and me, huh, bud? The fact that he has like a cleanup crew on call is concerning. Am I gonna fall from this crane if I do something wrong? All right, now that that's taken care of, just one truck left to deal with. Just give me a sec, you. Brilliant, all right, there's something wrong with this Joker's gearbox, so essentially he isn't able to stop his truck? We're gonna have to get creative and load over the green crate on the fly. Hey, 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 no, I can, I can, mm, not gonna be able to stop him with that. Okay, oh, well then I'll just drop this. And uh, green crate, grab this, and be ready. I've been dropping them this entire time. I know exactly how this works. <laughs> just get up, pull it up, and up. Close, close, try try again, try again. I, I'll get it, I'll get it. He's just gonna do the loop. Turns out I'm using the wrong kind of green crate. I actually need one like this. We go. I forgot to move that other green crate. Sorry, sorry. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna buff out in the morning. <laughs> it's fine though. I've got the right one now. They're also running over the bodies, which is again concerning. You think that a bunch of broken gearboxes and concerned people would be out of the normal, but no. Fantastic! You're one hell of an operator, kid. That's a solid day's work. Maybe you should come back full time, hey? Okay, I'll leave you there in case there's anything you want to do before finishing up. When you're ready to go ahead and log out of your shift using the end shift button on the touch screen. I really want to blow more stuff up, but if it sends my neck into a flurry, then I might lose. So I think it's probably for the best that we just end shift. <laughs> See you around, kid. I never even got your name. Mr. Disembodied Voice. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all your help and the, the, the murder. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Human Simulator, guys. And funny enough, one job interview actually got us a bunch of different jobs. We completed Crane Operator, but there are others that are even more tricky and complicated and dangerous and hilarious. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and you, man, the totally normal you, man, will return soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.